Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video we'll discuss the adaptive cursor sharing feature introduced in Oracle 11G Release 1. In previous videos we've discussed the importance of bind variables for performance in transaction processing systems, but using bind variables against columns containing skewed data can sometimes lead to less efficient execution plans. This is because the optimizer peaks at bind variable values when the statement is passed. So the value of a bind variable when the statement is first passed affects subsequent executions. Oracle 11G introduced adaptive cursor sharing to help mitigate this problem. The database can compare the effectiveness of execution plans with different bind variable values. If it notices suboptimal plans, alternative execution plans can be generated for different bind variable values. This is default functionality from Oracle 11.1 onward. We have a test table called ACS Test Tab. It has a synthetic primary key column called ID and an index column called Record Type. If you want to see how it was created and populated, check out the linked article. The table is populated with 100,000 rows. Rows with an even ID value have a record type of 2. That's 50,000 rows with a record type of 2. The other 50,000 rows have a record type value matching their ID value. That's 50,000 rows that have a unique record type that's not value 2. This represents a significant skew in the data for the column. When we check the user tab columns view, we see the ID column doesn't have a histogram associated with it and contains 100,000 distinct values. That's what we would expect as this is the primary key of the table. The record type column has a height balanced histogram and 50,001 distinct values. That's 50,000 rows with the value 2, then 50,000 rows with a unique value. We define a record type variable and set it to the value 1. We issue a statement that checks for the maximum ID of rows with this record type. There is a single row in the table with this record type, so we're effectively asking for the ID of that row. We can see the ID value is 1. We use the dbmsx plan display cursor table function to check the execution plan used to process this statement. We see the optimizer has chosen to use an index to get the required row. That's great because we know there's a single row, so doing a full table scan to get it would be a bad idea. Remember, the optimizer peaked at the bind variable value to make this decision when the statement was passed. We repeat the previous test, but this time use a record type of 2. We know there are 50,000 rows with this value, so the database will have to check all of them to find the one with the maximum ID value. This happens to be the last record we inserted. We check the execution plan. Unfortunately, it's used the same plan again. Why? Because it's using the existing plan rather than performing a hard pass. For any other bind variable value this would be a great execution plan, but for the value 2 it's not. We need to visit all the table blocks, so we would prefer a full table scan. In versions prior to 11.1 this would be the end of the story. The only way to change the plan would be to use a literal value or flush the existing statement from the shared pool. Checking the v$sql view for this statement, we see it's marked as bind sensitive, so the database has seen this statement may need different plans for different bind variable values. But it's not marked as bind aware, so this execution plan has not been re-optimized as a result of being bind sensitive yet. We run the test using the record type of 2 for a second time. We check the execution plan. This time the execution plan is different. The database has used a full table scan to get the rows, which is a much better option when the record type is 2. Checking the v$sql view, we can see a new row has been added for this statement, but this time it's marked as bind sensitive and bind aware. So instead of having a single execution plan per statement, 
Adaptive cursor sharing allows us to have multiple if we need them. This means skewed data and bind variable peaking are not as problematic as they were in previous versions. Adaptive cursor sharing isn't perfect. We still have to use a suboptimal plan for the database to notice the issue, but it stops us getting trapped in that state. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.